Well, it looks like St. Patrick's Day is over, so uh, it's time for Two Men in the Mic, the green episode. Ooh. I am Big Ron, alongside my co-host... Peppa McJefferson. That's a pretty Irish name for this it. green Irish episode. Oh, it's so Irish. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's getting to it. Let's talk about what just happened, the the holiday. I mean, there are holidays. Yeah. And then there was whatever this mess is. Whatever yesterday was. I mean, we remember Delco. It. I don't feel like most people do. <laughs> like, Jesus. I've never seen more letters jumbled in a text message in my life than I did yesterday. So they were going hard. Hard. Their snaps were blurry. You know, like, yeah. that's how drunk they were. That they were blurry. So their blurry eyes saw blurry snap and it all looked clear. It was, it was a lot. A you lot know, to go You know how Delco it. does it. I mean, like, the Aaron Express, up and down McDade, bars here and there. Delco I goes mean, so hard. I didn't take part. I, um, I did not either. I know you did. I worked. He was at work. Mm-hmm. So we both missed it. I was selling these products. To the you people. were enabling. I was enabling. You were an enabler. I even seen like two on St. Patrick's Day roll in with the big old St. Patrick's Day hat. You know, he was doing the old sway back and forth. Yeah, he was already his, he was already ready to go. He was already he fired was tempted. up. No, he was he was already fired. He was already fired. Yeah, he was. You could see he was the sway was like. Yeah. I might not stand much longer, and like with my eyes, I was hoping he was gonna fall. I just, for my sake, I've been there since like twelve o'clock. It was like eight thirty. I was already ready to. I just want to see someone fall at this point. So what did he walk in and uh, what, did he, what did he purchase from you? Well, it was him, his buddy, and uh, some blonde chick. So I'm assuming yeah. there was some action that went down. <laughs> action Jackson? Between all three. Okay. It was a triangle of lust. Mm. Um, they just bought a thing of a uh, simple Miller Light, Bud Light 12-pack to keep the party rolling kind of So thing. typical, Delco. Just like, let's keep this party rolling. That's yeah. all. Just, I need alcohol to keep on consuming. <laughs> you got to make that bus. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. When's the next bus? Well, nowhere from here. Oh, man. Uh, I've never done the Air Express. I mean, I've done We've it, done like, it the city. walking from city to bar in city to city, but, like, I've never... We did the city one, didn't we? Never hopped the bus on, in the city, either. Not never even done when, I, when, when uh, I was dating, you can't see me? Uh, even then, no. Uh, I believe we took did the train do down it? there, hopped off, and Did walked. I do it without you? I was a walker. I, did, I wasn't a busser. I so you might have done it on your own. I think I did it with... You can't see me. When you, you did, were... and that was a horrible, horrible time, you said. It was a horrible time in my life, yes. <laughs> that <laughs> might have been the last time you've, uh, I think you retired since. Oh, you yeah. You hung up the uh, old, uh, what do they call it, the, the leprechaun? What do they, what do they wear? The uh, big buckles and the. Yeah, the, I, I don't know whatever what Whatever Irish leprechaun shoes, what do they wear? Yeah. I don't know. Irish loafers. Oh. <laughs> you hung up the old Irish loafers. He's, reti- he's last, retired now. Last time I washed with Irish Spring. He no longer drinks it, he sells it. Yeah, I just sell it. I'm here to sell the product, not not consume the product. So, moral of the story is, people in Delco went pretty hard last night. It fell on a Saturday, mm-hmm. so uh, I feel you like know it was crazy. our views are going to be down tonight. They're probably also sleeper. Or they're all just getting to bed, or right this now. is like their fourth nap, yeah. or they've thrown up sixty two times. But you need to get up and listen to Men and Mike. I mean, yeah, come on, guys, we're we're like hangover. It's cheers. that day, it's that time right. of the night right now, Sunday night. Come on, get it right. It's 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 that bad. So, um, staying on the topic of. Uh, St. Patrick's Day mm. and a large consumption of beer. Yep. Uh, you were telling me there's some kind of new beer going on, trending yeah. in the news. I feel like we say the word millennial weekly. So we're back on a millennial kick right now. Yeah. Yeah. But these millennials, at mm-hmm. it again, you know how people have, it's a tradition sometimes. Yeah. People have the, uh, just regular, regular shower beer. A beer in a shower. You know, you might just crack a Miller Lite in a shower. I mean, if you're a child, yeah. nobody really drinks Miller Lite, unless Miller Lite wants to send his lifetime supply of anything. And you can always find us at Jeff and Ron One on Bang. Twitter. I mean, I'm going to keep saying it every episode, every uh, episode, every week, Come on, man. until somebody comes through and <laughs> kick a case through. I mean, something, That's I mean, it. anything, a little bit. But yeah, back on your uh, this, what you were saying. So, someone has finally, 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 created the perfect move for the one who needs to quote both, not smell, but be drunk. Yeah. The shower, the mini shower bar. Like, imagine a mini bar. I'm liking where you're going with this one. In your shower, kind yeah. of built into your wall. Yeah. You can just glass slide. Glass it's slide. cold. You just crack open a nice cold one. So you could probably put like a six pack, I'm assuming, in there. You know, like a simple sixer. If the sixer's not already in there when right. you get there. Because you should, pre- you should pre-prepare. Yeah. Like common sense. So. Um, yeah. You should probably prepare for such things. So. 
I think, and I heard it's going to be in Ohio. Yeah, it's actually um, a Scottish beer company called Brewdog. Mm. They have locations in Cleveland and in Aberdeenshire, oh, well. uh, Scotland, if you want to travel. How much further do you think that is, like 20 uh, minutes? Yeah, it's about 20 minutes okay. from, from Ohio. Oh, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> if we get on the magic school bus. <laughs> yeah, on the magic school bus. <laughs> Miss Frizzle will get us there. So, yeah, I mean, it's a hotel dedicated to beer. I mean, it's beer everything. Uh, there's actually a brewery in <clears throat> uh, the hotel, from what I've read. So you kind of get the whole experience. The whole thing, man. And then you can sleep over because it's a hotel. Yep. So uh, you basically can do some drinking. Yeah. And go back to your room. Yep. Drink in the shower. And you have in-room taps. So you can drink in the shower, step out of the shower, you know, dry off, whatever, whatever. Wow. Boom. Wow. You got your own taps. So any female who wants to date me, we will go there. You can meet him in the love suite. The love suite. The brew suite. The brew suite. Ooh. Pepper McJefferson. You know what else can brew there? You. Sweet love. Sweet love. Mm. The man's trying. He's I'm trying. sweet serenading the ladies out I there. I will serenade you. To all, to all his fans. To all his, <laughs> his two fans out there. Oh, man, fans. it's only two? I'm, I'm just kidding. Damn. I'm just That's kidding. That's one more than last week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I'm trying to... This would be a, a hell of a trip. Right. I'm and thinking this is... sponsor us to do this. This, yeah, we can do two men and a mic. Out live in Aberdeenshire. From... We're not going to Cleveland. We're going to live Aberdeenshire. Live from Aberdeenshire. Scotland, which is 25 minutes from Ohio. <laughs> Four shots in. I bet you can't say Amberdeenshire. <laughs> uh, that'd be the new challenge. Yeah, yeah. It was Amberdeenshire Amber four Shire. times quick after a yeah. couple of beers. And, Not happening. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that's that. I feel like that might be a trip, regardless. Like we must ne- might need to take one even to Cleveland. You know, because this way we can escort LeBron back to Philadelphia. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So we stay there, and then when he's like, well, "Where to go, guys?" And like, LeBron, settle down, because he's our friend. He is already. He's our best bud. He's going to be on Two Men and a Mic the, as soon as he gets here. First stop. Correct? That'd be great. I mean, right. If we, can, Bron, Bron. if we can land Bron Bron we got a mic as our for first you interview, if he called Two Men and Some Titles. Two Men and Some Titles. <laughs> I don't like it. But, yeah, what else do we have beer-wise? I feel like there was something I'm missing. Uh, you were talking about some kind of uh, glitter beer. Nah, here we go. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on with this. Gimmick. Okay. It has to be. Now, you know how, like, when we were younger, it was, what, Gold Schlicks or Gold Schlager, Gold Schlager. man. It had the actual Gold Flakes in it, And there was it, Gold man. Flakes in it. So that's yeah. why people bought it. Mm-hmm. So that has to be the new thing here, right? Like, oh, look at this unicorn beer. It's all sparkly and shit. Yeah. So, like, would you buy it strictly off of sparkly beer? Like, when you drink it, it just shimmers in the sunshine. You know, like, you're at a tailgate, and here you are just drinking this beautifully shimmering beer. Is that a reason to buy beer? Uh, I mean, I think you'd just buy it to try it out. Like, you would probably buy at least one, though, right? But I'm not buying a six-pack. You're not buying a six-pack of glitter hap- beer? Not happening. And my my question is, um, your pee. Will I get sweet, sweet, glittery pee? That That's would be actually probably be fun to find out. Right. You know? so like, you if have, you drink it. You would have to just try one and, and then see just, if your you know, pee is just... We'll know if you yeah. peed on that tree because that shit will it's just like you have, piss confetti. Right, but like, did you just... Did you pee on that tree? I did not. <laughs> Why is there glitter all over it? That would be like a CSI's worst, like, right. you know, your worst enemy. Like, you really just got caught on murder because yeah. you had glitter your beer. Your everywhere. everywhere. Come on, man. Ugh. But yeah, yeah it's kind I of mean, stupid. The I glitter beer, I'm probably going to... Pass? Pass on that. It's going to be an automatic no or just gonna go a semi-automatic it's no? It's going to be a semi-automatic <laughs> no. I mean, you're open to grant one for us and try it out. Right, but, um, right. I'll try one. I'm, I'm just, just curious, like you said, what will your pee look like? Yeah, like, and, like, is like a, will your toilet just have pure glitter? Like, you've just been to four strip clubs yeah. consecutive? I don't know. R. Kelly should try that. I mean, if you get you drunk, somebody will do it. I mean, speaking of uh, getting drunk, Mm-mm. there's a, I don't know, maybe you have to be drunk to do this, though, but it's a new Could fad be. coming on. But, right, uh, right. I mean, they're ditching the engagement ring. Yeah, and doing the engagement piercing. The pierced finger. So, you got to be drunk to do that. Guys, girls. Whichever one of you is, is the cheater. Um, it's going to be a hard time cheating because your finger is pierced with your damn wedding ring. That's, yeah. Man. You know, like, you know, you, you take it off, I'm assuming. I've never been married, so I don't know. And I, I'm not a cheater. I'm a lover. <laughs> um, but, like, could you imagine that? Like, someone just straight up pierces your ring finger right in that little chubby area right next to your knuckle. Right. And that's it. Like, that's your wedding ring. So, I guess you pick out a fancy one or, like, one with your girl's name on it or something. Like, I saw a picture and it just seemed very simple. So, like, I feel like you could just play that off as being someone who has a bunch of weird piercings. But I feel like there has to be something, like, your initials have to be on it or something that kind of claims you. 
Right. I mean, I'm thinking, does it make it cheaper? Because you're not getting oh, like, it's actual a hell of a lot cheaper. You're not yeah, for but like, goofy. Who's going for that though? Not many. Women. If you're some kind of like clean cut, you right. know, by the book, or you're really going to do your first piercing yeah. as your engagement ring, mm-hmm. and as long as Tiffany's exist, right, there shall never be. There shall never be a pierced, pierced finger unless we can get Tiffany's to start selling like pierced Tiffany rings. But I feel like that's more like it's not. I don't think that's going to be a mainstream move. I feel like that's more like the people who are already pierced everywhere. You know, like yeah. the certain people who have piercings on their chest and they have piercings like the ones with the the, the gauges in there. You're like, I feel like those type of people would do that automatically. It's a simple thing. It's just like the next thing up. But I, I can't see myself uh, piercing my finger. So in you're, you're you're an automatic no. On I'm this an one? automatic no, man. I hate anything on my hand. Right. So if something that just keeps clinging, you know, like at least it like. Yeah, I mean, like, a metal you use your hand you do, all the like, time. What if that gets caught on something? And just ripped your skin off. Bam. That's not That makes you hate your marriage that much more. <laughs> this bitch made me lose this. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, if anybody out there is who's, you know, knows, has done it or knows somebody who has done it. Uh, Dude, definitely let us know. Let us know what you think. And are you still married? And are you still <laughs> Because. Married? And how long were you married? How has that, how did that work out? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Did you, did you drop it to one knee at the tattoo shop? And that's Ooh, romantic. right, right. Like, that's is really the piercer romantic. right behind you? Like, yeah, with the, you know, As soon as she says, I do, bang, you just hit her with the gun? Uh, yeah, hmm, I don't. That would be romantic. Getting married at the tattoo shop. So, Ooh. yeah, I mean. I'm going to go with automatic no on that one also. Because yeah, I think they also do it with, sometimes people do the tattoo. You must really hope that you're going to love them yes, forever. That's not, that's not a good Sorry, idea. Sorry, guys. Mm. Divorce rate, way too high for me to be piercing your name on exactly. my name finger. Exactly. I got Then I can put like five names. I feel like you're going to be married like 17 times in your life. I mean, that'd be a cool wedding though. I mean, to go to a pierced finger wedding. Right. right. There must be some crazy uh, dancing going on. Mm. What about silent dancing? <gasps> silent dancing. I've heard you. I've, You're into this. You want to try this out? I want to try it. You're the silent disco I've kind of guy? I've seen it. From the outside looking in, yeah. silent dancing has to be the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. For those of you who don't know, it means a uh, so silent dance party is when, obviously, you wear headphones, mm-hmm. and uh, there's it's connected to different DJs. Uh, from what I read at silentphilly.com, there's three DJs. There's a red DJ who does 80s, 90s, and 2000s. Right. There's the green DJ who does top 40 and EDM. Okay. And your blue is the hip-hop. Mm. And from what I understand, at the end of the night, or during the night, they do a compete. They get a competition to see who has the best, I guess, Oh, so genre, basically what DJ is based winning. Based on the color that you have. I mean, you can go on the website that says silentfilly.com and check it out. Uh, all the upcoming events. It right, looks right. pretty. Uh, looks pretty serious. I mean, it looks pretty cool. It does look... It, it looks cool. I'm, I'm not a silent DJ But at hater. the same time... It's not that I hate it. I feel like I still want to try it. But when you if you walk into a silent, yeah, it, it makes you be like, oh, this is weird because, like you said, there are three DJs. Yep. So that means these are not going at the same beat. Nope. So there is just a a dance floor full of people who, at the same time, are just dancing to their own beat, cutting rugs. Okay, so you got you might got four blues over here just doing their thing. While a green is, you know, slow dancing with his lady. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and then the red one's doing, like, the running man. You don't really know what's going on. So when you just look at it and you just see a bunch of people on headphones dancing, it's the funniest thing you've ever had to ever, ever see. But I think it would kind of be a cool party. You know, like, if you and all your people decide to wear the same, you were under the same music umbrella. Bang. We're all going blue. Do like, gang colors? Or right. Oh, oh man. Do? I guess hey, I there, is red, there's red red, is red, red, there's red and blue in there. Oh, uh, this was a secret the whole time? It was really just, turns out whether, see if you're whether blood or crip? It was just, they were just dance fighting. They weren't really, yeah. It's just, so who the fuck, who's green? The uh, grass? It's like the green party or whatever. <laughs> kind of like, like the vegans. Yeah, the vegan. Yeah. Yeah, it's the vegan. With bloods, with the crips. We're the vegans. I mean, that explains the top 40 in EDM. Meat. Right, right. But honestly, I would probably check this out. I mean, I've seen it done, cool like you said, and it looks pretty weird because they're just, what the hell is it? What the hell it's are they just, doing? Yeah, like just punch people dancing. And them headphones are jamming. They are jamming hard. Kicking it. Like, could you see if, like, someone has, like, Jewel come on and next to them lose my mind up in here? Yeah. When DMX starts throwing? Like, <laughs> that has to be the greatest two people standing next to each other. Complete and utter opposites right. going on. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah, I'm into We have two trips. We're going we're gonna to a silent dance party, then we're going to go to a brew, brew dogs. We're going to go to the dance party at the brew hotel. Ooh. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're going to take the party to the hotel room. We're going to go party on party. Party on party. Cardio on Cardi. Party on party. Sure. Yeah. Whatever they, yeah. Yeah. 
and I Cardi mean, B it out. Cardi B it. Uh, you're signed in. She for she made some money quick, huh? She definitely did. Oh, a couple. That's yeah, definitely all, oh, man. Makes me angry. But yeah, anyway, we're off topic here. Anyway, always going off topic. Just, My mind, it's a bad it's place. A wanderer. It's a wanderer. It's a wanderer. It wanders. <clears throat> but yeah, like we were saying, so um, yeah, if you ever been to one, let us know how uh, how it was. Right? Like, is it a, is it as fun as it kind of looks? It looks pretty dope. Yeah, I think so. It looks pretty dope. All right. Well, I mean, that was uh, I guess we'll get back to what we usually do here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's on the as far sports as we can go. topic right now. Um, let's see, sports, right? Like that, we can do that. Yeah, sports, sports. We'll we'll, we'll figure out. We'll find one to do for that. you guys. Yeah, but jumping into sports, uh, I'll take the obvious here, which would be March Madness. It is March, right? All your brackets busted. Uh, I never even filled mine out, nope. so I've been slacking on that one. It doesn't so, matter because uh, basically everyone looks like they haven't didn't even fill watched the game because it is destroyed. Yeah. You had, for the first time ever, a 16 has finally defeated a 1. Really? Yeah. Thanks, I hmm. believe, Arizona, for being the idiots who find a way to be that guy. That's, uh, that's um, surprising. North Carolina is out. North they Carolina just lost. is done. And everybody pretty much had them in their finals. It was kind of like a rematch of a Villanova-North Carolina final. Ooh, wow, I would love to see that one. But, they, I mean, North Carolina won last year. Nova won it the year before. That's right. So, right now, I mean, you still have Duke going strong. So if you Duke can still see a little bit of, a little bit of Duke and Duke and Villanova. That would be a dream matchup. I'm down. I mean, I'm still going Nova. I'm still with Nova, but but I mean, I do like to watch Duke. I mean, we're going to what we're going to do is, we've decided since our brackets did not fill out. Yeah, since that kind of got screwed up. But we still want to do our our first three on me, two challenge. on you. Yeah. So what we'll do is when they get to this uh, two sixteen down to Elite Eight, we will then pick. The final four between right. me and Peppa McJefferson. And then whoever wins the tournament from there on out. Will be the first three on me. Will be the beer giver. Two on you. To the beer drinker. So that will be the new challenge. This time we'll, we will stick with it. We will stick with it. We'll, we'll follow. Not like diets. We will stick no, with no, this. No diets here. Diets now. So, yeah. I like food. But that was, yeah, it's, it's, I feel like everybody's brackets have to be busted by now. It's just, it is what it is. Brackets are just not a thing. Um, nope. Outside of March Madness, well, we had some a little bit of craziness going down. NFL free agency has officially begun, and uh, some major moves were made. Obviously, uh, the biggest one was Kirk Cousins going to the Vikings for three years with a whopping eighty-four million dollars. Do you think it was worth it for <laughs> Captain Kirk? For him, yes. Yes. For the Vikings, no. No. So there's if Kirk there. Cousins was that good, yeah. Yeah. If he was eighty million good, you're not saying he's a top five, no, or a top ten. Or a top three. Have you seen the Redskins? <laughs> yes, I have. If you're 80 million deep, you make that team in the playoffs every year. You yeah. should, regardless, because you should be that good. If Aaron Rodgers plays, regardless of what the Packers look like, mm-hmm. they make the playoffs. If he plays all 16, they will make the playoffs. With They can literally lose receivers every year, which they did this year. And sure did. they still will find a way to make the playoffs, and some guy you've never heard of will have 80 catches next year. Because Aaron Rodgers is that good. And he is worth eighty million. Kirk Cousins, he still throws a bunch of interceptions. He's good. He's definitely up there because quarterback play in general is kind of hokey. Man, he slangs it, brother. He's, he can sling he it slangs. into the other people's hands. Ooh, I'm an Eagles fan. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we beat them twice. Um, but still, I mean, eighty-four million uh, by now money. is like the richest in NFL history. Mm-hmm. I mean, All right, like so far, like so. But far. you're thinking like that's. Kirk Cousins should be paid higher than a Tom Brady or no, a, or a Aaron Rodgers. Mm-mm. Like like these guys are all I mean, I feel like Rodgers is smiling ear to ear because Oh, he's gonna get that paid. If if Cousins is getting eighty four, he's just look he just looked at the Packers front office and went, You better have at least a hundred because well, I'm coming. <laughs> eight hundred <laughs> and four million dollars. What is he, Doctor Evil? Yeah. I want one billion dollars. <laughs> Oh, That's, man. That was a ridiculous amount of money to give anybody. I mean, well, Minnesota lost, you know, Case Keenum, oh. whose coach said his name wrong. It was Yeah, that's so sad. Yeah, Elway, Elway called him. screwed him up. What do you call him? Kase? Yeah, something Casey. Casey. <laughs> Casey. <laughs> Casey and here's your top 40. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, oh, I mean, Alex Smith took uh, Captain Kirk's spot. 
Yeah, that, good job. That's weird. It's just, yeah, it's just, oh. I feel like the Eagles and the Cowboys just giggled at that one. Yeah. Like, oh, I can't wait to face Alex Smith twice a year. You guys got yourself a lethal weapon. <laughs> sure did, man. Sure did. Greatest game manager ever. And uh, my boy Tyrod went to Cleveland. Yo, is this man, is this Cleveland's answer? I can't as a say I can't. I can't hate. Cleveland hate did, a, did kind of a good job. I feel like Tyrod could be good. You got Landry. They also picked up. They also got Jarvis Landry in sure a trade. Did. You still got Josh as long as I don't smoke every day. <laughs> Gordon, as long as he stays. You know, away from weed during the season. Yeah, just for the And then you games. have Coleman and Corey Coleman's another one of their receivers. Stud receiver, Corey right, Coleman. Right, and then they picked up Carlos Hyde, hmm. which I think is stupid because they have the number one overall pick. You sure can go do. get Saquon sure Barkley. Do. Sure do. <laughs> well, 0-16 to get you there. Who wants Saquon Charles Barkley? But you get Saquon Charles Barkley. <laughs> now you have a running back that is just as good as the rest. You guys might have an actual offense. Are you saying Cleveland playoffs? Next year. Whoa. It's Cleveland. From 0 and 16. Five wins. <laughs> That's five more than last year, guys. Okay. okay yeah. Got to start somewhere. Crawl before you walk. If they worst the first, that is the greatest worst the first ever. You never know. Yeah. I've yeah. been hearing Browns in the Super Bowl next year. Well, that should be a really easy one to repeat on. <laughs> <laughs> this Eagles repeat is going to be easier than we think if they're going to be a Browns. I'm just saying. I can't wait to face Cleveland because we got everybody. I, I was surprised at the ones the Eagles moves this year. You know, we had we had to lose a lot of Super Bowl talent, yeah, but we had, got Michael you had Bennett. Brent Sella go. Yeah, that's hey a, man, he's like my brother. Cool. Remember we ran into Brent. We see this guy everywhere. Brent Sella literally it's a, follows it's us. Secretly known, Brent doesn't even know we knew this yet. No, it doesn't. He has hunted us down at multiple locations when we've gone out. It really has. Phillies games. Yep. Bowling. Like, Bowling. Weird places that Brent Sella should not be, hanging out near us. But he's always like behind us. Kind of like, man, I really wish I was with a man and a mic. Wish I, w- I wish it was three men and a mic featuring Brent Selleck. All the back now, Brent. Sorry. Uh, Brent, you can do what you want. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm with Jason Whitten. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jason Whitten's, Whitten's an accidental cowboy. He doesn't belong there. Don't start. He doesn't belong Don't there. Don't let it go. Let it go. He's too good to be there. Uh, that's why he's there. Nope. Nope. That's he's too good as a person. There. As a person. Oh, yeah. so if you're bad, you can't, cowboy. Be, you can't be on that. No, he's good. He should so if you're he good, look great in Eagle Pinstripes right now. No, nah, probably not. He'd probably retire. Whoa. <laughs> he would probably retire. If he retired after <laughs> last year with the Eagles, he would have had a ring. No. A lot of talent. Zero rings. This is going to keep continuing, huh? Yep. Yep. But what was the other big moves, free agency-wise? I mean, my man Sue, not Dominic. Sue. He got cut. Say that 14 times fast. Hunk Donkey Kong Sue. <laughs> Hunk Donkey Kong Sue. Oh, uh, yeah, he did get cut, but uh, there are some teams showing interest. Including your the, boys. Well, we have the Saints, we have the Titans, Seahawks, and like White Pepper said, the Cowboys. Uh, I wouldn't mind taking them. Uh, It'd be a solid move. I would take them. be a solid move on your defense. That's a big man in the middle. Yeah. That'd be that. That's a real big man in the middle. That's a big man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially if he has to deal with. I mean, that, that's any. the. The NFC East, that'd be a little bit of a sweat because you guys, uh, you franchise tagged your other boy, right? Lars? Marcus He's a monster. Lawrence. He's going to get yeah. hurry back that truck up. So I'm saying, like, if you got Demarcus Lawrence and then you bring in Donkey Kong Sue. <laughs> okay, step on you. <laughs> step on you, right. <laughs> step on you, Sue. So. That's why we need two quarterbacks. Yeah. You know, break Nick's ankle. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're coming for you. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, you got a healthy team this year. You might. You'd be all right. Any other any other moves in the NFL? Nothing that was nothing was. Glorious. I mean, Jordy went to Oakland. That was weird. But why would they? But they cut Crabtree for him. Yeah, that's a stupid move. Like, why Jordy's wouldn't you want older both? And, like, Crabtree, and always injury always prone. Always injured. And then Crabtree went to uh, Baltimore. I can see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, that's not nice. a Flacco good move. move. Yeah. yeah. Why Gotta not? Go Flacco something. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll keep an eye on it for any more free agent moves in the upcoming days, weeks, some to the season. Yeah. And uh, yeah. also the draft. Yeah. For next month. Yeah. And uh, the Lone Star State. Big day. Hey. Big day. It's, it's going to I can't wait, personally. All right. Question to you, White Pepper. Who was the first quarterback taken off the list? Who's your guy? Who is my guy for who's this your, year's who's draft? Your, this is a quarterback heavy draft. Who do you got, man? I still like Darnold. Hmm. I think he has to go first. He was, he was hyped the most. Even though I do like our boy, Baker. I feel like a Baker Mayfield move, but I feel like he's not first. He just can't no. be a first quarterback off the board. What about Josh Chosen? 
aka Ooh. Josh Rosen. See, with a name like Josh Chosen, he needs to be a little He's like a man. That. He is a man. He's a champion. I don't want to. It's like, basically, it's like you want to see which one you want to give to the Browns, and then which one you like to see succeed. I mean, wasn't it? Does he not want to go to the Browns? Was that? I believe he was the one who said it. Right? Like, I don't want to go there. No, because he knows it's where everyone. There's so many quarterbacks who could have had such great careers. Yeah. If they didn't get sacrificed to Cleveland, like Johnny Manziel, he's coming back. He's trying to pull a comeback. I can see him in the XFL. Yeah. Oh yeah. Him mm-hmm. and Tebow. Oh. First two quarterbacks. Faces the franchise. First two quarterbacks. Oh man. But you like, or you like, so you're more Josh Josh Rosen. Uh, I do like Rosen and uh, the kid from Wyoming, big guy. Oh, uh, Allen. Allen. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna be that sleeper. He's gonna be that Andrew Luck ish. Like the big, well, the big quarterbacks are coming back. Small school. Mm-hmm. Haven't really seen him play. All right. Big arm. Big kid. Like a Carson Wentz. I'm not trying know, to bring uh, it back to Eagles, but like he was also under the radar with the Division Two team. You have you have more. You know, you've seen a I think big it's like dude. less pressure, but it's kind of more pressure because they don't have even seen you. Right. You're not. You know, if you don't become anything, you're like, okay, well, you know, right. Well, well, see what happened. You got yeah. him from a small school, but but uh, Baker, Baker's man. I don't know. We'll see. I, I every, a lot of people think he is basically Manziel, Manziel two point Yeah, like he's flashy. He might be a problem. Poon but he could be <laughs> that he is <laughs> son of a bitch, man. Son I think he dumped his girlfriend for an, for an IG model. When you do that, well, you should. Yeah, he's like, oh, bye. How many go to this? I feel like that's it sounds scumbag, like, but like, yeah. I feel like I suddenly fell into a bunch of money, <laughs> and my girlfriend was like, oh, you're yeah, cute. You know. But then one of these IG models who don't wear clothes hit me up yeah. and like, hey, we should go out sometime. I feel like I'm at least taking the chance because you don't know how long this is gonna last. <laughs> You know, Ride that for all train. you know, in in ten years, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a normal ass lady. You know, like, just <laughs> you know, grew, born and bred. Right. But I can at least say to my kids, "Look, see this. Your dad once was this famous. Because sometimes that's what you judge. You judge your fame by the spouse. Mm-hmm. You're know, like, I'm so famous, I landed this ass. And you're like, oh, okay. You know, before you get to like pure celebrity ass, mm-hmm. like back in the day, where it was, you know Angelina Jolie. That's how you knew you hit the top. Of your food chain. Because you had that crazy, crazy woman. Still like her. Still a smoke show, though. Yeah, it sure is. Still a smoke sure show. Sure is. And lips, though. Mm-mm-mm. Making it ridiculous. <sighs> Let's get to a do different you, topic. You, yeah, I, do you need a minute I sweat here? just a little bit. Well, like... keeping on the uh, subject of females. Mm. We had a... There are... A... Let's just say... Bad dating. Bad Have dating. you ever just been on bad dates? What about like, like an awkward date? Like an awkward date, right? Like a a bad like because well, there's multiple kinds of bad dates. You yeah. have bad dates where it's just like uh, the person just nope, mm-hmm. like it's just not a click. Right. You know? So you're just like cool. All right, we can be like boys, but we're not gonna be doing anything else. Mm-hmm. And then there's like awkward ones. Right. Like the ones who will talk about their ex boyfriend the entire time. Really. And you have to sit in there and think to yourself, what am I doing here? You seem to have your uh, your mind made up somewhere. But how would the conversation even get to that and stay on that? You know what I mean? Like, would it be like, oh, hey, I am obviously have an ex because I'm here. Yes. But yes, why I feel like I we all continue are. to talk? We all are. Yeah. So it's yeah. like... There's a lot of weird things that come out of dating like that. Like, uh, especially the good old swipe right. You know, good old swipe right known as, known as Tinder. You mm-hmm. know, because only so much you can get off of a Tinder. Yeah. But then, like, you might get this weird situation where, like, people will ask... Which is, it's part of awkwardness, I think, is they ask something like, hey, how's Tinder going for you? Hmm. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm unaware, are we supposed to share our Tinder stories? Hmm. That was a lead-in. Yeah, was it? Um, and then so it, right it, leads into, that, it, just... it leads into the last time I went on a Tinder date, and then the ground hits running, and I'm just... In a blur, because there's just a bunch of stuff. Has nothing to do with anything that we're doing here. Yeah. Just a lot of, my ex did this. My ex did that. My ex used to do tons of crack. Like, <laughs> just a lot of, like, very weird shit that you don't talk about. Like, you t- it makes me bring up dating rules. Okay, so let's go over the rules of dating here. Okay, like, I feel like first well, I'm sorry, like, first, first dates. Dating. Right, right. So you're right. on a first date. Mm-hmm. Dude, Number one, shower. Shower, for love of God, yes. <laughs> you might want to shower. Down. 
Please be clean. There you go. Um, if you're going to, yeah, if you're going to date, please shower. Uh, what about be on time? Uh, on time is key. On time is key. There, you can't, there's no fashion be late for the first no, date. No, 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 no. That's why you... That's called a... I mean, it's a crap for you. That's, like, <laughs> <laughs> that's called a... This is not going to work yeah. out. Yeah. Um, who... Subjects on the first date. Okay. Keep it keep it simple. Avoid politics. Yes. Oh, I feel like don't you should for the most part. No, no. Because you're just... You know, that's don't. a fight. You don't know what kind of person that is. Right. It could be someone who's heavily into their their affiliation. Right. And that could that could just cause, you know, obliteration within the first five minutes. So what else? Uh, don't talk about you so much. Yes. Don't be like, I do this. I do that. I'm this. I do that. like because then yeah. it just makes you think like you're you think you're the greatest human being ever. Exactly. To walk around. And that's that's literally the dumbest you can ever do. Um, I feel like leaving exes off the table. Please do. Like, anytime you speak of them, especially first date style. If if first date all you want to talk about is the spouse you were with before, mm-hmm. you are still hung up on said spouse. That's, That's an automatic yes. Right? Like, if I went on a date, mm-hmm. and I just consistently just blurted out about what my ex did, this thing my ex did, this thing my ex did, why am I talking about my ex? Exactly. I'm, I'm trying why to start something you? because I have an ex. Like, the ex is gone. Mm-hmm. She is out the picture. So we're supposed to be doing us. Right? So it should, should be simple. Yeah. And sometimes... Sometimes, oh, and and who pays the bill? You know what? That's a good one. Because it's a first date, do you do the gentlemanly thing and do you pay for it? Do you ask to go have these? Do you say, at least (laughs) least hold the tip? Like, I'm not, like, (laughs) like, who gets what? Like, should she at least do the tip? Simple tip. It's like five, six bucks. Or do you do the whole thing because that's, like, the gentlemanly thing to do? I think you just boss out, man, and just pay it. Right, like you just pay for your bad experience and just, you just suffer the it's and a, just kind of yeah, kiss chalk that it up forty to, bucks by and like, you know what? Yeah, it's chalk it up sucks. So we all won't see her again. Sometimes you got to do this. You got to pull the bathroom SOS. You know? As soon as that check is the table, he split to the bathroom. Mm. Mm. It's yeah, yeah, because like I feel like that's just not a thing we can do. You can't right bad dating. It, it's really a thing that's it's a lot more than it used to be. Now I found out good dates are movies. Not a lot of talking. Not a lot of talking. So you think that's like you good can kind of like, talk on your first date? Not a lot. Because, like, you kind of want... You're not even comfortable around each other. You know, like, you're just, you just don't even know what, like, a movement means. Mm-hmm. Oh, hold on. There's a slam shed. <laughs> slam shed. Warning. Slam shed is going to smoke another cigarette. <laughs> His lungs are almost super black by now. Hey! Hey. You're not black like you. Hey. You're not even that super black. Oh. You're like light skinned. Oh. Yeah, we don't support that here, fella. What? We're all green this episode. We're, you we're said, all green with a You said out. fella. Fella. <laughs> we will not stand for that. God, no. We will not. But anyway, back to what you were saying. But yeah, bad dates, dude. It's a thing. Like, I just feel, and I feel like social media, like that kind of dating, the, yeah. uh, the Tinders of the world, the Plenty of Fishes of the world. Mm hmm. Probably not your best move. Not your best move, but I feel like the general single population these days is terrifying. Like, every one of them, there's a, a, a crazy tick in mm-hmm. their head. But, like, yeah, I've had a bad dating situ- situation with, and it's been kind of bothering me. Well, how, did you order something you liked? Like, what was the food? Like, oh, yeah, no, the food was good, man. Grilled chicken. That's a plus. Grilled chicken. Yeah. Now, was it like... Before the food was there, you have to talk in. The food yeah, comes, yeah, yeah. you shut up. It's just like no, 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 no. You, you kind of talk through it. Oh, you you talk, talk through your meal. Yeah, terrible. Not, but it's a fir- if it's a first date, you have to, man. Like sit in silence is already awkward. Like you don't know each other, so sitting in silence is weird. Yeah, you know, and you're you're, you're in a you're in a social setting. Mm-hmm. You got to be social. I also only ate the broccoli. I saved the chicken for when she was done because <laughs> I wanted to enjoy it. I don't like have to eat quick because you don't want to talk about okay. food. No, I got that to go. Me and the bartender were on, we were on good terms there. Now, were you in a booth, a table? We got the table, bar, a table. table. Yeah. See, because I was unaware, first off. Kind of kind of got caught on this one. It wasn't, wasn't her, wasn't me. But, like, we've all been to one of our favorite establishments in Springfield. Local watering holes, yeah. Local watering hole. <laughs> now, in the back <laughs> bar of this establishment, <laughs> you know when there, there's tables there? Yes. Don't you just sit at them? Uh-huh. Why are they offering me food? 
They don't offer me food at the bar. So why do they offer me food when I sit down? Like, so I got caught because I wasn't planning on any food. I just thought there'd be a few burrs. Slice a few burrs down. You know, and, and that also brings the awkwardness down. Right. Yeah. Because yeah, you're comfortable yeah, yeah. now. Now you're just spouting out everything you've ever done in life. You're like, Ugh, one time I fell in a bush. Like, <laughs> you don't even have options anymore. Right. But, yeah, it was, it's kind of, it was, it was bad. It was bad. But, like, I feel like I've done that a lot lately. Well, not lately. Recently, bad days happen. And it's just kind of, you got to run through it. But tell us your bad dating stories, people. Yeah, you like, let us know. Because I know we have to have worse dates out there than anything I've done. Uh, I've heard some bad dates. Chicken and broccoli over here. Chicken and broccoli. God damn if that's not good. It's a good thing, though. It's real good. What about you? Ever had, like, a ass-like date? Like, just, oh, my God, this was the worst thing ever? Like, you had to be bailed out? No, because I am awesome. Oh, yikes. Is that Ooh. it? Yeah. I do remember a bad one. Remember, I had to call you because I went, when when me and this one female were drunk, we hmm. had a great time together. Okay. At a party. It was a very good time. Um, but then, we tried to go on a sober date. This brings me back to the rules. Do not be on your goddamn phone the entire time. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Social suicide day. I do remember that mm-hmm. day. Uh-huh. Yeah, that person. Um, that was <laughs> awful. Like, she was on her phone so much, and she was doing the thing where they giggle at a text message. What are you laughing at? Right. What, what are you laughing at? I, I want to like, I want someone to hit you with a beer bottle at any moment <laughs> because this is annoying. I literally had to be like, I had to have. I found an app on my phone <laughs> that would you could pick any contact call you at any moment right so it would still pop up like your phone was about to ring mm-hmm. and i had it call my mom because hey if mom's ringing things yeah. must be serious and i rang and i i faked the hell out of that <laughs> i, I could have got any academy award on earth that was just such a bad experience so ladies gentlemen stay off your phone stay <laughs> off your damn phone especially with white that but stay off the phone. yeah <laughs> i will slap that shit out your hand <laughs> <laughs> I gotta live. I get it. It's, it's just... Derek, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who just sits on their phone? Why did you come? It's just like a straight slap. Right. <laughs> Oops. Oh, man. Knock that down a few freaking bars. So that's part of your rule. No phone. That's number one for you? Yeah. Top of the list. I kept... no, no phone, phone, no giggling. No phone, no giggling unless I tell a joke. Because I'm funny, <laughs> damn it. I'm funny. Oh, man. So don't be on your phone. <clears throat> Stop giggling at your damn phone. <laughs> how many times have you really okay, how many times in real life have you ever LOL'd at something for real? Like someone sends you a text. And you know how you LOL? Yeah. You don't physically laugh every really time you don't. get an LOL. You just don't how many times have you really got like the ho oh, and you actually giggle like right. gotcha? It's very rare. I hate when people say, Huh, I'm actually LOLing. What the fuck were those oh, last six? Weird. Those last six LOLs were what? That made me mad. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm funny here. And there's LOL is like a way to like be like, shut up, Jeff. Yeah, white people don't like that. This is called for help, lady. So uh, anyone out there that's looking for a nice time yeah, with white nice, Peppa, not great. Just nice. It's a nice time. Nice time. Who can stay off the phone for <laughs> three half the date? Give the man a shout. Like yeah, yeah. like that. Yodelay. Yee-hoo. Oh, he who is you me? Wanna, yes, there. It, yeah, boom. There it is. Gotcha, ladies. <laughs> So uh, I think we should end on that note. We have to because let them let them think about that. Let's simmer the brain. I need to go take a shot and go to bed or something. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So next time you go on a date, think of White Pepper. I'm trying to help you listen out. to his rules, and we'll have a successful time. <laughs> no phones, no giggles, no X's, and and no no being awkward, man. For the love of God, yeah, it's, it's, it's about just, to get real in this business. In this business, yeah, the love it's, doctor. Ooh, love doctor. That could be the next. I episode. wear many hats. Do you? Yeah, I do. I kind of see usually the same backwards hat all the time. Usually backwards. Yeah, always hats. backwards. Drive fit. So uh, yeah, man, that was episode eleven of uh, Two Men and Mike. Yep, yep. The St. Patty's Day Green Edition. Green Edition. We'll say that. Green we like edition. it. I like it. So uh, until next time, children. Children. <laughs> I bid you <laughs> good night. <laughs> oh, and I bid you a gooder night. Bye. <laughs>